welcome to the third review of the evening. Uh, this time is a pre-release review of Century City. It sort of. Um, the, uh, so, to preface... Pre-Switch that, release. Yeah, it's like... It, it, it's coming out on the Nintendo Switch in about four days. Um, but... The thing is, it's already out on uh, PC Steam, has been since last year. Um, uh, and we are covering the Nintendo Switch version. Um, and before we get to the details, got to get through the opening spiel. Uh, Century City is a cyberpunk-style side-scroller with, with gameplay that is part trial and error, part reaction time-based. That doesn't really sound like a selling point to me. Um, traverse the city using the motorcycle overworld map. Blast and think your way through the levels. And fight tough bosses to uncover who is behind the city's AI disruption. Um, yeah, so this game was assigned to Gollux for review. And uh, take it away. I mean, the description isn't wrong. It's a, uh, it's, it's, you, you, it's one shot and you die from like anything. Uh, and you shoot pretty slowly and only have five bullets before you need to reload. And a lot of enemies take more than one hit. So, uh, it, trial and error and reaction time makes sense. Uh, also, you're scored on your progress through the level based on time, though. Um, uh, the, whether you score well or not doesn't seem to have any strong impact on whether you're able to continue. Uh... The pixel art also just looks slightly off for the style to me. I don't know why that is. Like, it looks like... It is obviously actual pixel art, but it looks like it was done by... a less experienced pixel artist or something. I don't know. There's something weird about it. The The sprites are fine, but especially when they, they do the... Uh, I think it's the contrast... Scenes. Yeah, it, it, it's some. There's something. There's something that just looks a little off about it. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, it's worth noting that uh, while you can only shoot straight horizontally, the enemies can shoot up and down. And uh, I have not been able to check for sure that the pixels don't cheat on that and like turn. I think they probably do. Um, anyway. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, you were just having a copy at your favorite uh, robot-owned bar or cafe, I guess, uh, when a robot came and said, uh, time for the robot rebellion, and then the robot bartender said, yes, it is time for the robot rebellion, as if it had been corrupted by the new guy, uh, and then you shot them, and now you're going around defeating all the AI brains in every stage. Uh, and then eventually beating bosses to stop the AI from doing a revolution. Uh, yeah, you have one gun uh, with with I think you have an unlimited number of bullets, but you need to reload every five shots. The bike is only for travel between stages, and the stages are uh, accessible only in a linear order. Uh. I don't actually know how many levels there are uh, because I don't know if there. I I, ass, I have to assume there might be more than one world because there were only about a, a dozen or so stages I think on the first world. Um, and I did get to a boss fight of sorts only partway through that, so it's not like there are no bosses until the end of the world. Uh, world here, meaning the the world map selection thing. Um, there are checkpoints, but they're not always super close. Which is good, because it's very unforgiving when you die in one hit from anything, and 
there are enemies that uh, will shoot a lot. Uh, you well, so there are the enemies, and you actually have to uh, plan and think about it because uh, if an enemy, the enemies uh, generally turn and change face direction. But if they see you, they will keep shooting for quite a while as as long as they think you're there. And you can't duck and move or duck and shoot. You can only shoot while standing or jumping. Uh, no one tells them that jumping while shooting is a bad idea. Um, due to uh, recoil and stuff. And then there are like... Uh, mine drones that will pop off off the ground and try to hit you or fly back and forth in a pattern. There are laser sensors that make stuff shoot at you, I think. I mostly avoided having trip, tripping those, so... So yeah, that's the kind of general gameplay loop. Uh, it's okay feeling. It does not feel great. Um, but it's, like, tolerable, I think. Um, there also doesn't seem to be much to the plot between the, uh, aside from the, the intro thing, and, uh, you do get a little bit of dialogue before the boss fights, which, uh, mostly differ from the stages in having, uh, like, one enemy that takes more hits. Uh, you still die in one hit, which makes it pretty unforgiving. Um, do you guys have any questions? Nah, I think I'm good. Not really. Uh, the music I remember being pretty energetic and appropriate for cyberpunk type thing. Yeah, I just, I don't feel like there's a whole lot to it, but as you can see here, the price is five bucks. It's also five bucks on Steam, so that's not unreasonable, I don't think. Mm. A five dollar price tag for a five dollar experience. Yeah, it, it, it's 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 okay. I don't expect it like win any awards, but it's also not like unpleasant or painful to play. Uh, I think that's about what I got. All right, then. Um, so, yeah, that'll about do it for Century City here. Be sure to tune in after the break as we review Bit Trip Rerunners.